Good morning. Yeah, it's the morning here. Um, this is Chris, and uh, <laughs> this sounds very different from what what you're used to. So here's here's the thing, and I've uh, already asked a few of the or all of the Patreon supporters about this because that's kind of my first place to go when I need to pick someone's brain about things. And uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> so the show is going to change partially. Okay, so. Here's what you have right now, and that's the very polished studio recorded episodes of Tips on the Top Floor, where I think about a, a topic and where I, where I really um, <clears throat> take time to, to dive into things. And uh, then there will be another kind of shows, um, and it's more, more unpolished, more unrehearsed, more uh, off the cuff, <clears throat> like this one here. I'm recording this uh, sitting in the kitchen, having breakfast, drinking some coffee, and uh, yeah, kind of thinking about what is this show going to become. Again, this is not a change because I want to change it. Uh, this is more out of necessity because um, looking at my calendar for the next three, four, five months, there's so much travel in there. And usually I would have pre-recorded episodes for uh, most of the time I'm gone and the uh, uh, yeah the, the sponsorships would make that possible and help me really sink in a lot of time and l let other things and not do other things um, this is not not possible anymore so I'm thinking it, uh, I'm trying to turn this into something good for this show and this is what you're hearing right now it is It is a, a, something that I can produce on the road while out there. Um, again, it's not polished. It's uh, it's snippets of stuff about well about photography, about the travels I do, um, and yeah, this is kind of the first thing. Again, don't expect this to be super rounded and uh, polished, but but do let me know what you think about it as I'm recording this. It's 15 days until I take off for Siberia, for Lake Baikal. And that is, um, yeah, that's, that's this and some of the other tours that are coming up, the Ethiopia tour and the Bhutan tour, have eaten up a whole lot of time and effort here. And um, yeah, this is what I'm working through right now. In parallel, I'm writing an article For a magazine, I um, uh, yeah, I'm juggling just a lot of stuff right now, um, which is another reason that you hadn't heard an episode for a few weeks. But I want to keep this stuff coming to you as regular as possible, and I think this is how I can do it. So here's here's how I do it. Okay, um, I'm recording this on my iPhone. This is there's no. <clears throat> no big professional microphone here. There's no, uh, no headphones, no nothing. I'm uh, recording this on the iPhone and I will record snippets of things that I think you might find interesting. So there might be like a one minute from here, two minutes from there. Let's see how this turns out. And then when I have time, I will throw those together. I will kind of loosely edit those together on my phone. There's software for that. Um, And then I'll send it through Ophonic, which is the service that kind of tries to, <laughs> tries to help make things sound a bit better. Um, so Ophonic is a, is a big piece of the puzzle because that also saves it out to, uh, to a server. <clears throat> so, uh, and then Matt, Matt wraps it on Armstead, uh, picks it up and publishes it on the feed for you. That's the one manual step, and that makes sure that there's like a little bit of show notes in there and a bit of um, some metadata that helps you enjoy the show. Um, this, these episodes will have their own little, uh, what do we call them, little artwork. So depending on your podcatcher, it might, it might show that so you can identify those, but you'll hear them. As, as you just heard in the beginning, there's a different intro, so... It's uh, it's quite obvious. 
that it's one of those. So, yeah, there's. I think there's like a 50-50 chance that you will either love or hate that. I hope. I hope you will love it because I remember listening to polished podcasts, po podcasts that the makers put a lot of effort into, and then at one point they they had to do something like this. Um, more off the cuff, more low tech of approach. And I totally fell in love with these things. And um, that's what I tried to do years ago when I had a lot of driving and I did these Autobahn casts where I, where I, where I stopped at the, on a, on a, uh, like a service station next to the Autobahn and uh, took 10 minutes to record something. So maybe this is a bit of that as well. And yeah, I let me know voice at tfttf.com. I can. Okay. So I, if, if I have the network, um, I can download voicemails. If you send something to voice at tfttf.com, I can download it and I can incorporate it into these podcasts. Again, I have an editor that, um, let me see. I'm using ferrite. Ferrite is an iOS app that is a, almost a full blown audio editor uh, not that I have a lot of time using it because I'm out on a photo tour or will be out on photo tours so uh, I have uh, other priorities but um, it's it's okay to spend like 20 minutes and trying to clean it up a bit and uh, cut off the, 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 the ends and beginnings that don't belong there so that's the plan right now <clears throat> For Siberia, I have already bought an eSIM. So this is an interesting development um, <clears throat> when it comes to traveling, is the, the whole deal with eSIMs. Um, there's uh, several companies that sell you uh, online connectivity. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is, my <clears throat> this is my morning throat and I'm coming up with a bit of a cold here. Uh, eSIMs, um, there's my true phone, there's GigSky, there's Airalo, A I R A L O, um, and more and more, more, more and more companies are beginning to release eSIMs. So that's um, with the last two generations of the iPhone, I think, and probably some Android phones as well. An eSIM is a is a SIM card that you that is virtual, so you can buy the service like a data service for Siberia and uh, you will it's usually packages that include like a whole bunch of countries and uh, then uh, yeah it installs in your phone as a data line but you keep your voice line on your original phone number um, which is still based here on a, on a physical sim card um, but yeah, you, you put this in and uh, virtually put this in and then you have data. Um, and this is like a package that includes Europe and Russia and some other places. Um, pricing, yeah, some of them are expensive, but uh, I'd rather have this installed already uh, rather than arriving in the country and trying to figure out how to do this. And I, I remember... Uh, when I tried to get a SIM card for Iceland, um, I arrived and it took me like half a day to get to the shopping mall where the shop is that wasn't open. And then it was open a bit later. And then uh, it ended up being a simple process, but it had so much um, ballast around it, so much uh, stuff to get there and to figure this out. And so having these things sorted will make the whole travel thing more efficient and so i'm really happy to do that so so long story short oh by the way did i mention that there's a good chance that these recordings um that these special types of show, I'm not sure how i, I want to call it maybe travel nugget or something tfttf travel nugget i don't know um send a suggestion <laughs> um the the where was I? I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I just wanted to warn you. <laughs> These are not as tightly produced and scripted or um, maybe not scripted, but I don't have notes for these, okay? So there is a very good chance that I will dip into rambling here now and uh, I think I just did that. Um, but hey, that's 
yeah, it's more a stream of consciousness thing. Um, but maybe over time I'll get a bit more tight with this. So forgive me for now. All right, um, that's my first dispatch. Yeah, when when we did uh, when John and I did the the first Everest trek in two thousand nine, we called them dispatches. So maybe it's a dispatch. Uh, I don't know. Let me know. Voice at tfttf.com. Send me a voicemail. You can also send email to that address, but voicemail. I kind of like voicemail. And then, um, yeah, if you send me anything while I'm on the tours for Ethiopia, I do have data. Uh, for, for, for Siberia, I do have data. I believe it'll work there, even though some places far out, probably not, but... Then we'll be in hotels that have Wi-Fi, so that should be possible. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, Ethiopia will be, uh, at least for for the bulk of it, probably off the grid. So I, I guess I will not be able to send you a lot. But then things might not, things might change. Things might be different while we're there. So we'll have to see. Uh, and then Bhutan after that, again, quite special body uh, so I remember some Wi-Fi the last two times we were there in some hotels which was okay for email but uh, for audio <laughs> it didn't quite work out that well so yeah that's that's the whole thing um, with these new little I have no idea how to call these shows but uh, yeah this is just a bit of a a preview of uh, what's about to come. I might even send you another one or two from here, from back home here in the Viewfinder Villa while, I don't know, preparing stuff. Maybe there's something that I find interesting enough to talk about. So there we go. That's it. Signing off. Take care and bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>